What does it take to make a planet, and what effect does that planet's atmosphere have on the planet? Today we're going to take a look at the innermost planets. We're going to look at their atmospheres, we're going to look at the greenhouse effect, and we're going to try to evaluate what it all means, what factors contribute to the temperature of their atmosphere. We've sent probes to all of these neighboring planets, and we're waiting on details to come back soon. Okay, here's our first transmission. It's telling us the average distance of each planet from the sun. Now remember, when we talk about average distance, planets orbit in an ellipse. It's not a circle, it's an ellipse. So when they orbit in an ellipse, sometimes they're closer to the sun and sometimes they're further away. We're looking at numbers for the average distance. Mercury is 58 times 10 to the 6 kilometers from the sun. That means 58 with six zeros after it. Anytime you see a number with a times 10, that tells you how many spots to move the decimal. We don't write these numbers out because they are enormously long. This is called scientific notation. 58 times 10 to the 6 kilometers equals 58,000,000 kilometers. See, we move the decimal from the 58 right after the 8 over a 1, 2, 3, four, five, six decimal places. Now that is helping us write this number in a smaller way. Venus is about 108 times 10 to the six kilometers away. Earth is about 150 times 10 to the six kilometers away. Mars is about 228 times 10 to the 6 kilometers away. Based on that data, try ranking these planets in order from the coolest to the warmest based on their distance from the sun. All right, we're receiving our second transmission now, waiting for data. This next transmission has information about the surface density of the atmosphere measured in kilograms per cubic meter. Density is the amount of particles in a certain volume. The surface density of Mercury's atmosphere is zero kilograms per cubic meter. The surface density of Venus's atmosphere is 65 kilograms per cubic meter. The surface density of Earth's atmosphere is 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter. The surface density of Mars's atmosphere is 0.02 kilograms per cubic meter. A cubic meter means something that would fit into a space this size. If it's a meter across, a meter down, and a meter deep, that is a cubic meter. This is a cubic meter. How many kilograms of atmosphere would fit into this cubic meter? Based on that data, try ranking the planets in order from coolest to warmest. Has your answer changed? We're receiving our third transmission now. This is telling us about the composition of the atmosphere on each planet. Mercury has no major gases. Gases. It doesn't have a blanket covering of gases, so there are no major gases in its atmosphere. It does have what's called trace gases. That means it's clusters of molecules, of atoms, of different gases that are scattered throughout the planet in the low-lying areas, maybe in a crater here and there. Those gases are sodium, magnesium, oxygen, and hydrogen. The major gases of Venus are carbon dioxide and nitrogen. The minor gases of Venus are sulfur dioxide, argon, and water, water vapor. The major gases of Earth's atmosphere are nitrogen, which we have the most of, and oxygen, which we really need. The minor gases of Earth's atmosphere include carbon dioxide, argon, water in vapor form. We've got some neon. Helium and methane. For Mars, the major gases are carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Minor gases include argon, carbon monoxide, nitrogen, and oxygen and nitrogen dioxide. That's interesting. Both Venus and Mars have greenhouse gases. Why aren't they both greenhouse hot? Notice that some of these gases are greenhouse gases. What does that mean, a greenhouse gas? And what is the greenhouse effect? A greenhouse gas is a gas that's in the atmosphere that absorbs the energy of infrared light. The greenhouse effect is the warming of the atmosphere by energy that's trapped in greenhouse gases. Now let's review all of the data that we've acquired so far. What are the three factors that actually control a planet's temperature? Distance from the sun, atmospheric density, and greenhouse gases. Oh, we're getting our final transmission. Let's check it out. This transmission is about the average surface temperature of each planet. Mercury's average surface temperature is 167 degrees Celsius. Venus's average surface temperature is 464 degrees Celsius. Earth's average surface temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. 
Mars's average surface temperature is negative 63 degrees Celsius. Now, use what you've learned to design two imaginary planets. Your goal is to develop skills and understanding by designing and inquiring about characteristics of planets. Our focus is on atmospheric temperature. Requirements for this, planet X must have a surface temperature somewhere between Earth and Venus, planet Y must have a surface temperature between Earth and Mars, and then choose some combination of gases for the atmospheres of planet X and Y. Be careful, choose the right gases so that you don't have a planet that's too hot or too cold.